The World Chess Championship 2006 was a match between classical world chess champion Vladimir Kramnik, and FIED world chess champion Veselin Topalov. The title of world chess champion had been split for 13 years. This match, played between September 23 and October 13, 2006, in Alista, Kalmykia, Russia, was to reunite the two world chess champion titles and produce an undisputed world champion. Kramnik won the first two games, establishing a commanding lead. However, after Topalov's camp alleged that Kramnik was using computer assistance, Kramnik forfeited Game 5. He eventually agreed to play again under protest. Topalov won Games 8 and 9, taking the lead for the first time, but Kramnik struck back with a win in Game 10. The remaining games were drawn, sending the match to a tiebreak. After a draw in the first game and a win apiece in the second and third games, Kramnik won the fourth game after Topalov blundered, to win the tiebreak and the match, becoming the 14th undisputed world chess champion. <laughs> <laughs> Background After Garry Kasparov split from FIDE in 1993, there were two world chess champions. There was the classical world champion, the title that only passes on to a player when he defeats the previous world champion. This was held by Kasparov, until he was defeated by Kramnik in the classical world chess championship 2000. There was also the official FIDE World Champion, determined by various tournament formats, held since the FIDE World Chess Championship 2005 by Topalov. From 1993 to 2006, no match was ever held between the various classical and official champions. This match brought the two title holders together to unify the World Chess Championship for the first time since the 1993 split. Topic: Negotiations. Kramnik was invited to the FIDE World Chess Championship 2005 in San Luis, Argentina. As classical world champion, he refused to play, but indicated his willingness to play the winner in a match to unify the title. Negotiations for a match began soon after Topalov won in San Luis, but broke down after the two camps were unable to overcome substantial differences of opinion. However, in April 2006, FIDE announced that Kramnik would play current FIDE champion Veselin Topalov in a World Championship match to unify the classical champion line with the FIDE championship. The prize fund of $1 million would be evenly divided between the players, regardless of the outcome of the match. Head-to-head <inaudible> 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 -head> In past encounters, Kramnik had defeated Topalov ten times, lost five games, with 24 draws. This becomes plus 1 9 minus 9 equals 34 if rapid and blindfold games are included. In classical time control games since the beginning of 2004, the score was two wins each, with three draws. <laughs> <laughs> Match conditions The match was a best of 12 games. Players scored one point for a win and half a point for a draw. If, after 12 games, the score was tied at six points each, then a tie break would be held. 
As it turned out, the first round of tie breaks rapid games was indeed required, and was held on October 13, 2006. Topic: Time control. From the match conditions, the primary time control for each game shall be 40 moves in the first 120 minutes, and if that is met, then a secondary time control of 20 moves in 60 minutes, and if that is also met, then the rest of the game shall be played out in 15 minutes, with an additional 30 seconds per move starting from move 61. Topic. Tie break method The tie break is only used if the match is tied at six points apiece after the 12 regular games. In the event of the tie break, the players play four rapid games, each with a time limit of 25 minutes, plus 10 seconds per move. If the score is still tied, this is followed by two blitz games, each with a time limit of 5 minutes, plus 10 seconds per move. If the score is still tied, this is followed by a sudden death game, white has 6 minutes and needs to win, black has 5 minutes and needs to draw or win. Topic. Schedule and results Colors were determined for the regular games by the drawing of lots at the opening ceremony on 21 September 2006. The colors reversed between games 6 and 7. The colors for the first tie-break game were decided by drawing lots again. All regular games, and the first tie-break game, began at 3 p.m. local time, which corresponds to 1100 UTC. <laughs> regular games <laughs> Rapid tie-break games Topic: Regular games. This is the only World Chess Championship match where the same opening move one d4 was played in every game. Only two openings, the Slav defense and the Catalan, were played. Topic: Game one. Kramnik Topalov, 1 to 0. Kramnik won the first round of this match in a 75 move game that lasted six and a half hours. Topalov, whose style is more tactical than positional, blundered when he played a risky move late in the game. Topalov had a drawn position throughout most of the game and made a fatal miscalculation. Catalan opening, E04 1. D4 NF6 2. C4 E6 3. NF3 D5 4. G3 DX C4 5. BG2 B flat 4 plus 6. BD2 A5 7. QC2 BX D2 plus 8. QX D2 C6 9. A4 B5 10. AX B5 CX B5 11. QG5 0 0 1 2. QX B5 bar 6 13. QA4 QB6 14. 0 to 0 QX B2 15. NBD2 B flat 5 16. NX C4 BX A4 17. NX B2 B flat 5 18. NE5 Ra 7 19. BF3 NBD 7 20. 
NEC 4 RB 821. RFB 1 G 522. E3 G 423. BD1 BC624, RC1 B425. NA4 RB426. ND6 BF327. BXF3 GXF328. NC8 RA829. NE7 plus kilogram 730. NC6 RB331. NC5 RB532. H3 NXC533. RXC5 RB234. RG5 plus KH635. RGXA5 RXA536. NXA5 NE437. RF1 ND238. RC1 NE439. RF1 F640. NC6 ND241. Road 1 NE442. RF1 kg 6 Topalov plays for a win. 42. ND243. Road 1 NE4 would repeat moves, with a likely draw. 43. ND8 RB644. RC 1H545. RA 1H446. GXH4 KH547. RA 2 KXH448. KH2 KH549. RC 2 KH650. RA 2 kg 651. RC 2 KF552. RA2 RB553. NC6 RB754. RA5 plus kilogram 655. RA2 KH556. D5 E557. RA4 F5. 57. NX F2. 58. Kilogram 3 E4. 59, KXF2 RB2 plus 60, Ki1 RB1 plus 61, KF2 RB2 plus followed by continued checks on B1 and B2 draws. White cannot vary from this line with 60, kg 3. Because 60, RG2 plus 61, KF4 F262, RA1 RG1 wins, NOR with 60, KI1 RB1 plus 61, KD2. Because 61, F2 wins. 58. NXE5 RB259. ND3 RB760. Road 4 RB661. D6 NX D662. Kilogram 3 NE4 plus 63. KXF3 kilograms 564. H4 plus KF665. Road 5 NC366. Road 8 RB167. RF8 plus Key 668. NF4 plus Key 569. RE8 plus KF670. NH5 plus KG671. ING3 RB272. H5 plus KF773. RE5 ND174. NE2 KF675. ROAD5-1-0. Game 2, Topalov Kramnik, 0 1. Kramnik won the second game of the match after 63 moves, taking a 2 0 lead. Topalov missed winning continuations at move 32 and 36. Some inaccuracies later in the game cost him the draw. Slav defense, D19. 1. D4 D5 2. C4 C6 3. 
NC3 NF64 NF3 DXC45 A4 BF56 E3 E67 BXC4 B flat 48 0 to 0 NBD79 QE2 BG610 E4 O 11 BD3 BH512 E5 ND513 NXD5 CXD514 QE3 BG615 ING5 RE816 F4 BXD317 QXD3 F518 B3 NF819 KH1 RC820 G4 QD721 RG1 B722 NF3 RC423 RG2 FXG424 RXG4 RXA425 RAG1 G626 H4 RB427 H5 QB528 QC2 RXB229 HX G6 H5 Kramnik said that he wanted to play 29 NX G6, but saw 30, QX G6 plus. HX G6 31, RX G6 plus KH7 31 KF7 32, RG7 plus KF8 33, RG8 plus KF7 34, R1 G7 number 32, R6 G3, forcing mate, 30. G7. HX G4 31. GXF8 Q plus BXF8. 31. KXF8, 32. QG6 plus 32 RXG4 plus wins immediately EG32 BG733 QC7 QF1 plus 34 ING1 or 32 KH833 QG6 BG733 F5 RE734 F6 QE2 35. QX G4 RF7 36. RC1 36. QH5, still wins 36. RC2 37. RXC2 QD1 plus 38. Kilogram 2 QXC2 plus 39. Kilogram 3 QE4 40. BF4 QF5 41. QXF5 EXF5 42. BG5 A5 43. KF4 A4 44. KXF5 A3 45. BC1 BF8 46. E6 RC7 47. BXA3 BXA3 48. Key 5 RC149. Ing 5 RF150. E7 Re1 plus 51. KXD5 BXE752. FXE7 RXE753. KD6 Re1. GM John Nunn demonstrated that 53. Re3 was the only winning move, 54. D5 KF855. NE6 Plus. GM Mihail Marin, annotating the game on the Chessbase site after the game, noted that endgame tablebases show that 55, KD7, still draws. Key 856. NC7 Plus KD857. NE6 Plus KC858. Key 7 RH159. Ing 5 B560. D6 Road 161. NE6 B462. NC5 Re1 plus 63. KF6 Re3 O1.
Topic Game Three: Kramnik Topalov, one half to one half. The third game ended in a draw after 38 moves, keeping Kramnik in a two and a half to one half lead. Kramnik White had the advantage for much of the game. According to commentators he at least twice avoided moves with more winning chances but which also carried more risk, 17. NE4 and 32. EXD5. Catalan opening, EO2. 1. D4 NF6 2. C4 E6 3. NF3 D5 4. G3 DX C4 5. BG2 NC66. QA4 BD77. QXC4 NA58. QD3 C59. 0 to 0 BC610. NC3 CXD411. NXD4 BC512. Road 1 BXG213. QB5 plus. ND714. KXG two A six fifteen QD three RC eight sixteen BG five B seven seventeen BXE seven QXE seven eighteen RAC one NC four nineteen NA four B five twenty B three O O two one BXC four BXA four twenty two NC six RXC six twenty three QXD7 QC524 RC3 G625 RB1 H526 RB7 E527 E4 RF628 RC2 QA329 QD1 Road 630 Road 2 RFD831 Road 5 RXD532 CXD5 QXA233 QF3 RF834 QD3 A335 RB3 F5 36 QXA636 RXA3 FXE437 RXA2 EXD3 would give black the advantage 36 QXB337. QXG6 plus KH838. QH6 plus kilogram 8 and a half to one half. Topic. Game 4, Topalov Kramnik, one half to one half. The fourth game ended in a draw after White's 54th move, leaving Kramnik with a 3-1 lead. Topalov pressed hard, sacrificing a pawn. He achieved an advantageous endgame but despite five hours of play he failed to convert it 48, QXC4, gave good chances, according to Sergei Shipov on Chesspro.ru. Semi-Slav defense, d47 1, d4 d5 2, c4 c6 3, nc3 nf6 4, e3 e6 5, nf3 nbd7 6, bd3 dxc4 7, bxc4 b5 8, bd3 b flat 7 9, a3 b4 10, ne4 nx e4 11, bxe4 bxa3 12.0 to 0 bd6 13 B3 NF6 14, ND2 QC7 15, BF3. BXH2 plus 16, KH1 BD6 17, NC4 B7 18, BXA3 0 0 1 9, BXE7 QXE7 20, RA5 RFD8 21, 
kg 1 C522 RXC5 NE423 BXE4 BXE424 QG4 BD325 RA1 RAC826 RA5 RB827 QD1 B428 QA1 RB729 ND2 BG630 QC3 H631 RA6 KH732 NC4 B433 F3 BD534 ND2 RD B835 QD3 plus F536 RC3 QH437 RA1 QG338 QC2 RF739 RF1 QG640 QD3 QG341 RFC1 RFB742 QC2 QG543 RA1 QF644 QD3 745 RA4 RBD846 RC5 kg 847 NC4 BXC448 RAXC4 F449 RC6 FXE350 QXE3 RXD451 RXE6 QH452 RXD4 QXD453 RE8 plus KH754 QXD4 and a half to one half Topic Game 5 Kramnik Toparlov 0 to 1 forfeit Kramnik was due to play the white pieces. The game ended with Topalov winning by forfeit, after Kramnik refused to play and his clock had been allowed to run for one hour. Kramnik's lead was reduced to 3-2. This is the first World Chess Championship match since Spassky Fischer 1972 in which a game was forfeited. Topic Game Six Toparlov Kramnik One Half to One Half Game Six was due to be played on September 30th, but was postponed until October 2nd by the decision of the FIDE president. On September 30th and October 1st, negotiations over match continuation between players, their teams, and FIDE took place instead. Kramnik agreed to play Game 6 under protest, with the status of Game 5 to be resolved later. The game was uneventful, ending in a draw after 31 moves. Kramnik played a rare sideline and gradually equalized. Kramnik now led three and a half to two and a half. Slav defense, d17, 1, d4, d5, 2, c4, c6, 3, nf3, nf6, 4, nc3, dx, c4, 5, a4, bf5, 6, ne5, e6, 7, f3, c5, 8, e4, bg6, 9, b3, cx, d4, 10, qx, d4, qx, d4, 11, bx, d4, nf, d7. 12, NX D7 NX D7 13, BX C4 A6 14, Key 2 RG8 15, RH D1 RC8 16, B3 B C5 17, A5 Key 7 18, Na 4 B flat 4 19, NB6 NX B6 20, BX B6 F6 21, Road 3 RC6 22, H4 RG C8 23, G4 B C5 24, Rad 1 BX B6 25, Road 7 plus KF8 26. Ax B6 Rx B6 27, R1 D6 Rx D6 28, Rx D6 Rc6 29, Rx C6 Bx C6 30, B4 E5 31. BX A six and a half to one half. 
Topic Game Seven: Toparlov Kramnik, one half to one half. The five-hour game, a semi-Slav defense, was characterized as a hard-fought 60-move draw. Toparlov successfully defended a RBVRN ending a pawn down. Kramnik now led 4-3. Semi-Slav defense, d47 1, d4, d5, 2, c4, c6, 3, nf3, nf6, 4, e3, e6, 5, bd3, dx, c4, 6, bx, c4, c5, 7.0-0, a6, 8, b flat 3, cx, d4, 9, dot x4, n c6, 10, n c3, b7, 11, re1, 0, 0, 1, 2, a4, bd7, 13, n e5, 5 b8 14 b3 rc8 15 rc1 nb4 16 qf3 bc6 17 qh3 bd5 18 nxd5 nbxd5 19 rcd1 rc7 20 bg5 qc8 21 qf3 8 22 h4 h6 23 bc1 b flat 4 24 rf1 bd6 25 g3 b6 26 QE2 NE7 27, RFE1 BXE5 28. DXC5 RXD1 29, QXD1 NFD5 30, BD2 RC5 31, QG4 NF5 32, QE4 B5 33, H5 BXA4 34, QXA4 RB5 35, RC1 QB7 36 BC2 NB637 QG4 RXB238 B4 QD739 B1 ND540 BD3 NB441 BF1 ND342 QD1 NXE543 QXD7 NXD744 RC8 plus KH745 RC7 RB146 RXD7 RXE147 RXF7 A548 Kilogram 2 kilograms 849 RA7 Re550 G4 ND651 BD3 KF8 52 BG6 Road 553 F3E 554 KF2 Road 2 plus 55 Key 1 Road 556 Key 2 RB 557 Road 7 Road 558 Ra 7 RB 559 BD 3rd 560 BG 6 and a half to one half Topic Game Eight Kramnik Toparlov Zero to One Game Eight lasted four and a half hours and resulted in Topalov's first win over the board in the match, tying the score at four to four. It featured the strategically unbalanced Meron variation semi-Slav defense. Topalov's fifteen. QA5 was a theoretical novelty. After 21 moves, the players reached a sharp, complicated, queenless middle game with Topalov having two knights for Kramnik's rook and pawn. Topalov spun a mating web with his knights and rook, aided by Kramnik's mistakes on moves 32 and 41. Semi Slav defense, d47. 1. d4 d5 2. c4 c6 3. nf3 nf6 4. nc3 e6 5. e3 nbd7 6. bd3 dx c4 7. bx c4 b5 8. b2 b flat 7 9. 0 to 0 b4 10. na 4 c5. Sharper than the standard 10. B4 
B711 DXC5 NXC512 B flat 5 plus this has been played before but GM Sveshnikov considered it inferior leaving White's knight awkwardly placed at A4 NCD713 NE5 QC714 QD4 road 8 15 BD2 QA5 16 BC6 B7 if 17 BX B7 NX E5 17 RFC 117 B3 avoids the trade of two knights for rook and pawn that now occurs BX C6 18 NX C6 QX A4 19 NX D8 BX D8 20 QX B4 QX B4 21 BX B4 ND5 22. BD6 F5 commenting during the game, Susan Polger wrote, Yasser Syrowin says, I'm not sure what Vladimir thought was attractive about this ending, with KF7 and B flat 6 in the offing. Black looks very good, I agree with Yasser. 23. RC eight N five B six twenty four RC six B seven twenty five Road one KF seven twenty six RC seven Ra eight twenty seven RB seven K eight twenty eight BXE seven KXE seven twenty nine RC one A five thirty RC six N D five thirty one H4 Polga wrote that here GMs Avruk, Karjakin, and Fedorovich preferred white, while Zagrebelnyi and Rajabov preferred black. H632. A4. After the game, Polga wrote of this move, a positional mistake. Better was simply 32. Kf1 G5 33. HX G5 HX G5 34. Key 2. Now White has a backward pawn on B3, which comes under attack on move 42. G5 33. HX G5 HX G5 34. KF1 G4. Now F2 F3 can be met by G3 35. Key 2 N5 F6 36. B3 N E8 37. F3 G3. Keeping more pawns on the board in order to play for the win. 38. RC1 F6 39. F4 K D6 40. KF3 N D5 41. KX G3. 41. RB5 holds. Polga called this a horrible move, but thought White's position was now very bad in any case. 41 NC5 42. RG7 RB8 Now White's position is a mass of weaknesses. White cannot stop Black from invading on either the B or the G file. 43. Ra7 RG8 plus 44. KF3 NE4 45. Ra6 plus Ki7 46. RXA5 RG3 plus 47. Ki2 RXE3 plus 48. KF1 RXB3 49. Ra7 plus KF6 50. Ra8 NXF4 51. Ra1 RB2 52. A5 RF2 plus 0 to 1. Topic Game 9, Topalov Kramnik, 1 to 0. Game 9 was a three-hour tussle featuring a Slav defense. Topalov's 6, NH4 and 7, NXG6 is a standard idea gaining white the advantage of the bishop pair. 
Topalov followed up in unusual fashion, however, with a3, g3, and f4 on the next three moves, leading Susan Polger to observe that, Topalov made way too many pawn moves in the opening. However, Kramnik was unable to find an effective response and eventually ended up in a middle game position where his two knights were outmatched by Topalov's powerful bishops. Topalov steadily improved his position, seizing space and launching an attack on the king's side. A strong tactical blow by Topalov on move 38 won the game for him. Kramnik, who had struggled with a steadily deteriorating position in time trouble, resigned following Topalov's 39th move. Topalov took the lead for the first time in the match, with the score now 5–4. Slav defense, d12 1. d4 d5 2. c4 c6 3. nf3 nf6 4. e3 bf5 5. nc3 e6 6. nh4 bg6 7. Nx g6 hx g6 8. A3 nbd7 9. G3 b7 10. F4 dxc4 11. Bxc4 0 0 1 2. E4 b5 13. B2 b4 14. Ax b4 bx b4 15. Bf3 qb6 16. 0 to 0 e5 17 b3 rad 8 18 na 4 qb 8 19 qc2 exf4 polga this is not a good move he had to take the d pawn 20 bxf4 qb7 21 rad 1 rfe 8 22 bg5 b7 23 Kh1 Nh7 24. B3 Bg5 25. Bg1 Nh F8 26. H4 B7 27. E5 N B8 28. Nc3 B flat 4 Yasa Syrowin. Vladimir's position is slipping away. 29. Qg2 Qc8 30. RC1 BXC3 31 BXC3 NE6 32 BG4 QC7 33 RCD1 ND7 34 QA2 NB6 35 RF3 NF8 36 RDF1 RE7 37 B3 NH7 38 RxF7 ND539. R7F31-0. Topic Game 10, Kramnik Topalov, 1-0. Kramnik played the solid Catalan system. At move 17, Topalov, playing black, offered Kramnik the opportunity to win a pawn if he was willing to give up his fianchettoed king's bishop for a knight and thus weaken his king position. Kramnik accepted the offer. Susan Polger wrote that Topalov's compensation is his bishop pair, good knight on e4 and the white knight is pinned on b5. However, Topalov blundered on move 24, allowing Kramnik to win a second pawn. Topalov then gave up his rook for a knight and two pawns. That left Kramnik ahead a rook for a knight and, after forcing the trade of queens, he won the endgame easily. The match was now level 5-5. Catalan opening, E08 1, d4 nf6 2, c4 e6 3, nf3 d5 4, g3 b flat 4 plus 5, 
BD2 B76 BG2 O 07.0 to 0 C68 BF4 NBD79 QC2 A510 Road 1 NH511 BC1 B512 dot CXD5 CXD513 E4 DX E414 QX E4 RB815 QE2 NHF616 BF4 RB617 NE5 ND518 BXD5 EXD519 NC3 NF620 NXB5 bar 621 A4 NE4 422, RDC1 QE823, RC7BD824, RA7F6. Polga. This is a blunder. 25, ND7RF726, NXB6RXA727, NXD5 Road 728, NDC3RXD429, RE1F530, QC2RB431, ND5RXB532. AXB5, QXB533, NC7 QC434, QD1BXC735, QD7. The point of Kramnik's clever 34, QD1 rather than the expected 34, QXC4, which also would have won. Now white threatens both the bishop and 36, QE8 hash. H636, QXC7 QB437, QB8 plus QXB838, BXB8 ND239, RA1 G540, F4 NB341, RA3 BC442, BC7 G443. BXA five one O Topic Game eleven Topalov Kramnik one half to one half The eleventh game ended in a draw after sixty six moves, leaving the match level at five and a half to five and a half. Towards the end, Kramnik was pressing hard for the full point, a pawn ahead in a rook and bishop endgame, but was unable to convert his advantage. Slav defense, d12 1, d4, d5, 2, c4, c6, 3, nf3, nf6, 4, e3, bf5, 5, nc3, e6, 6, nh4, bg6, 7, nxg6, hxg6, 8, rb1. This move is a novelty. 8. NBD7 9, C5 A5 10, A3 E5 11, B4 AXB4 12. AXB4 QC7 13, F4 EXF4 13, NH5 14. FXC5 ING 3 15, RG1 RXH 2 16, QF3 B7 17, BD3 BH4 18, KD1 14. XF4 B7 15, B2 NF8 16.0 to 0, NE6 17, G3 QD7 18, QD3 18, B5, NXC5. 19.dxc5 bxc5 plus 20, kh1 qh3 or 20, kg2 qh3 plus 21, kf3 ing4 wins ne4 19, nxe4 dxe4 20, qxe4 qxd4 plus 21, qxd4 nxd4 22, bc4 0 0 2 3, kg2 ra 4 24, road 1 road 8 25, b3 bf6 26, g4 kf8 27, bf2 ne6 28, rxd8 plus bxd8 29, f5 gx f5 30. gxf5 nf4 plus 31, 
KF3 NH532, RB3 BC733, H4 NF634, BD3 ND735, B4 NE5 plus 36, kg 2 Ra237, B flat 1 Road 238, KF1 Ing 439, BG1 BH240, Key 1 Road 541, BF2 Key 742, H5 NXF243, KXF2 KF644, KF3 445, B5 RC446.BXC6 BXC647, RB6 RXC548, B4 kg 549, RXC6 RA550, RB6 RA3 plus 51. Kg 2 BC752. RB7 RC353. KF2 KXH554. BD5 F655. Ki 2 kg 456. B4 KF457. BD3 RC558. RB4 plus kg 359. RC4 Re5 plus 60. Re4 Ra 561, Re3 plus kilogram 262, B4 plus KH 263, RB3 Ra 2 plus 64, KD3 BF 465, KC4 Re 266, KD5 and a half to one half. Topic. Game 12, Kramnik Topalov, 1 half to 1 half. This game featured the same variation of the Slav defense 6, NH4 BG6 7, NXG6 HXG6, as in games 9 a Topalov win and 11 a draw, but for the first time Kramnik played the white side of this line. In a queen and rook end game, with both kings open, Topalov forced a draw by perpetual check. This left the score tied 6 to 6 at the end of regular time control play. Kramnik 6 Topalov 5 in played games, plus the game 5 forfeit in favor of Topalov. Tiebreaker games were now played to determine the outcome of the match. Slav defense, d12 1, d4, d5, 2, c4, c6, 3, nf3, nf6, 4, e3, bf5, 5, nc3, e6, 6, nh4, bg6, 7, nxg6, hxg6, 8, g3, nbd7, 9, bd2, b flat, 4, 10, qb3, bxc3, 11, bxc3, ne4, 12, bg2, nxc, C313, QXC3 F514.0 to 0 QE7 15.CXD5 EXD516, B4 NF617, RFC1 NE418, QB2 19 B5 RAC820. BXC6 BXC621. QE2 G522. RAB1 QD723. RC2 RF624. RBC1 G425. RB2 RH626. QA6 RC727. RB8 plus KH728. QA3 RB729. QF8 RX B830, QXB8, QF731, QC8, QH532, KF1 ND2 plus 33, 
Ki 1 NC 434, BF 1 RF 635, BXC 4 DXC 436, RXC 4 QXH 237, Ki 2 QH 138, RC 5 QB 139, QA 6 QB 2 plus 40, KF 1 QB 1 plus 41, Ki 2 QB 2 plus 42, KF 1 RF 643, QD3 G644. QB3 and to one half. Topic: Tie break games. Topic: Game 13, Topalov Kramnik, one half to one half. In the middle game of this first game in the rapid tie break Topalov made a pawn offer, which Kramnik accepted. Kramnik then exploited some tactics to return the pawn and trade into a level endgame. Slav defense, d18 1. d4 d5 2. c4 c6 3. nf3 nf6 4. NC3 DXC45 A4 BF56 E3 E6 7 BXC4 B flat 4 8 0 to 0 NBD7 9 QE2 0 0 1 0 E4 BG6 11 BD3 BH5 12 E5 ND5 13 NX D5 CX D5 14. QE3 Re8 15. NE1 RC8 16. F4 BX E1 17. RX E1 BG6 18. BF1 RC2 19. B3 QA5 20. B flat 5 Road 8 21. Re2 RC C8 22. BD2 QB6 23. RF2 A6 24. BF1 RC6 25. B4 RC2 26. B5 A5 27. BC3 RX F2 28. QX F2 QA7 29. QD2 RA8 30. RC1 NB6 31. B flat 2 NX A4 32. Bar 3 H6 33, H3 B4 34. KH2 NB6 35. BC5 A4 36. Ra 1 NC4 37. BXC4 B6 38. QE3 RC8 39. BF1 BXC5 40. DXC5 QXC5 41. QXC5 RXC5 42. B6 RC6 43. B7 RB6 44. Bar 6 D4 45. RXA4 BXB7 46. BXB7 RXB7 47. RXD four and a half to one half. Topic Game fourteen Kramnik Topalov one to zero. White obtained a minimal advantage from the opening, which he maintained until queens were exchanged. Kramnik won in the endgame to go up one and a half to one half. Semi-Slav defense, d45 1. d4 d5 2. c4 c6 3. nf3 nf6 4. nc3 e6 5. e3 nbd7 6. qc2 bd6 7. b3 0 0 8. b2 b6 9. 0 to 0 b flat 7 10. B flat 2 re 8 11. 
RAD 1 QE7 12. RFE 1 RAC 8 13. BD 3 E 5 14. E 4 DXC 4 15. BXC 4 B 5 16. BF 1 G 6 17. QD 2 RCD 8 18. QG 5 A 6 19. H3 EXD 4 20. NXD 4 QE 5 21. QXE 5 NXE 5 22. NC 2 G 5 23. BC 1 H 6 24. B3 C5 25. F3 BF8 26. BF2 BC8 27. NE3 B628. NED5 BXD5 29. EXD5 NED730. RXE8 RXE831. A4 B4. Conceding white the past a pawn was equivalent with complete strategic surrendering." GM Mihail Marin commenting on Chessbase, 32. NE4 NXE4 33. FXE4 NF6 34. D6 NXE4 35. D7 Road 8 36. BXA6 F5 37. A5 BG7 38. BC4 plus KF8 39. A6 NXF2 40. KXF2 BD4 plus 41. RXD4. CXD4 42. A7 Key 7 43. BD5 KXD7 44. A8 equals QRX A8 45. BXA8 1 0. Topic Game fifteen Topalov Kramnik one to zero Topalov equalized the tiebreak match with the sort of kingside attack he has become famous for. Slav defense D twelve one D four D five two C four C six three NF three NF six four E3 BF55 NC3E66 NH4 BG67 B2 NBD7 8.0 to 0 BD69 G3 DXC410 BXC4 NB611 B2 0012 NXG6 HXG613 E4 E514 F4 EXD4 15. QXD4 QE7 16. Kilogram 2 BC5 17. QD3 Rad 8 18. QC2 BD4 19. E5 NFD5 20. RF3 NXC3 21. BXC3 BC5 22. BD2 Road 7 23. RE1 RFD824 BD3 QE625 BC1 F526 QE2 KF827 Road 1 QE728 H4 Road 529 QC2 NC430 RH1 R331 QE2 QD732 Road 1 B5 33. G4. FXG4 34. RG3 Key 7. 35. F5 GXF5 36. BG5 plus Key 8 37. E6 QD6 38. BXF5. RXD1 39. BG6 plus KF8 40. E7 plus QXE741. BXE7 plus BXE742. BD3 RA143. QB2 Road 144. QE2 RA145. 
QXG4 RXA2 plus 46. KH3 BF647. QE6 Road 248. BG6 R2D749. RF3 B450. H51 to 0. Topic. Game 16, Kramnik Topalov, 1 to 0. Just like in the second tiebreak game, Kramnik displayed his skill in positions where the queens have been exchanged. Topalov's small inaccuracy on move 20 was punished by a precise sequence of moves from Kramnik, which eventually won him a pawn. In an extremely difficult position, Topalov made one final blunder, and the match was over. Semi Slav defense, d47 1. d4 d5 2. c4 c6 3. nf3 nf6 4. nc3 e6 5. e3 nbd7 6. bd3 dxc4 7. BXC4 B58 B2 B flat 79 0 to 0 B710 E4 B411 E5 BXC312 EXF6 BXF613 BXC3 C514 DXC5 NXC515 B flat 5 plus KF816 Qx d8 plus rx d8 17. Bar 3 rc8 18. nd4 b7 19. rf d1 a6. 20. bf1 r4. 20. ne4 was better. 21. rab1. b4 22. rb3. bx a3 23. Rx A3 NC524. NB3. Key 725. Road 4. BG626. C4 RC627. NXC5 RXC528. Rx A6 RB829. Road 1 RB230. Ra7 plus KF631. Ra 1 RF 532, F3 Re 533. Ra 3 RC 234. RB3 Ra 535. A4 Key 736. RB5 Ra 737. A5 KD 638. A6 KC 739. C5 RC 340. Ra 5 RC 141. RB 3 KC 642. RB 6 plus KC 743. KF 2 RC 2 plus 44. Key 3 RX C 5. 45. RB 7 plus 1 to 0 since 45. RX B746, RX C5 plus KB647. Ax B7 and Black cannot recapture the rook without allowing White's pawn to promote. Topalov's 44. RX C5. Cost him the game and the title. However, in a post match interview, Kramnik claimed that he had a decisive advantage even before Topalov's blunder. According to Australian GM Ian Rogers in Chess Life Online, White should still win against the superior defence 44. E5 with 45, Rab 5. Forfeit asterisk. Topic: <laughs> Bathroom controversy. Topic. Allegations and forfeit 
On September 28, 2006, the rest day between Games 4 and 5, Topalov's manager Silvio Danilov complained to the match organizers and the press about Kramnik's repeated visits to the bathroom. He noted that the bathrooms are the only place not under audio or video surveillance, and called the frequency of the breaks, "...strange, if not suspicious." Danilov suggested that Topalov would abandon the match if the concerns were not addressed. On September 29, 2006, the Appeals Committee, which consisted of Georgios Makropoulos, Jorge Vega, and Zurab Azmiparashvili, determined that, although the frequency of Kramnik's visits to the toilet had been exaggerated, the private bathrooms would be closed and a common toilet opened for both players. In response, Response, Kramnik's manager Karsten Hensel issued a public statement insisting that the original match conditions be adhered to, defending Kramnik's actions by saying, "...the restroom is small and Mr. Kramnik likes to walk and therefore uses the space of the bathroom as well." It should also be mentioned that Mr. Kramnik has to drink a lot of water during the games. Otherwise, Mr. Kramnik will stop playing this match as long as Fide is not ready to respect Mr. Kramnik's rights, in this case to use the toilet of his own restroom whenever he wishes to do so. Hensel also declared his lack of confidence in the appeals committee and demanded that its members be changed. Awaiting a reversal of the appeal committee's decision, Kramnik refused to play Game 5. At 5 p.m. local time, the chief arbiter declared that Kramnik had forfeited. FIDE President Kursan Ilyumjinov told Kramnik. I hereby inform you of my full trust in the members of the Match Appeals Committee and their latest decision taken in respect of the appeal of Topalov's team dated 28 September 2006. I am also asking you in good faith to continue your participation in this match. Later, it emerged that Kramnik's team made a procedural blunder by not filing their protest before he defaulted the fifth game. The players were invited for a meeting by Ilyumjinov to discuss the actual situation of the match and to solve the problems. Ilyumjinov stated that cancelling the forfeit was possible, but that if no compromise was reached by noon on 1 October, the match would not continue. On October 1, 2006, FIDE announced that agreement had been reached that the original bathroom arrangements would be reinstated and that the appeals committee had resigned and would be replaced. Later that day, FIDE announced that Game 6 would be played on October 2, with the forfeit standing and the score Kramnik 3 Topalov 2. Kramnik replied that he was, "...ready to proceed playing the match by reserving all my rights. My further participation will be subject to the condition to clarify my rights regarding Game 5 at later stage." On October 3, 2006, the new appeals committee responded to Kramnik's appeal against the Game 5 forfeit saying that they had no powers to vary the decisions of the original appeals committee. Earlier, Kramnik had said that if his appeal fails, "...the only thing I know for sure is that in this case I will sue Fide." Kramnik's manager expressed concern that a member of Topalov's team might attempt to plant an electronic device in Kramnik's bathroom to foster suspicion that Kramnik is cheating. He suggested several measures relating to the inspection of the bathroom and Kramnik's person meant to forestall this possibility. Reactions. 
On October 2, 2006, more than 30 GMs, WGMs, and IMs expressed open support for Kramnik's position, including former world champions Anatoly Karpov and Boris Spassky, and multiple-time challenger Viktor Korchnoi. Spassky and Korchnoi had been involved in controversial World Chess Championship matches World Chess Championship 1972 and World Chess Championship 1978 respectively. Spassky felt that Fischer had only disputed against the organizers, not his opponent's conduct. Korchnoi, in an interview, stated that he would simply have walked out of the match. Topic: Kramnik protests. On October 10, 2006, in a press release, Team Kramnik said, "Should the decision of FIDE regarding the fifth game have any influence on the awarding of the World Championship title, with Mr. Topalov receiving the title after being granted a free point for the unplayed game?" Mr. Kramnik declares unequivocally, I will not recognize Mr. Topalov as world champion under these conditions, and I will take legal action against FIDE at the end of the world championship. Since Kramnik won the match, this situation did not eventuate. <laughs> Later allegations On October 4, Topalov's manager, Silvio Danilov, issued a press release that identified what it labeled, "...coincidence statistics", showing the percentage of times that Kramnik played a move that would be recommended by Chessbase's Fritz 9 chessplaying software in that position about 78% on average, GM Susan Polger, who did not believe Kramnik was using computer assistance characterized this as another black eye for Danay Love and Chess. Even if he believes that it is true, he should complain to the committee and not through a press release. This is unprofessional and unacceptable. At the press conference following Game 7, Kramnik commented on the second game where the Fritz analysis had shown a match with 87% of Kramnik's moves. Kramnik said, "...a proper analysis must take into consideration that in the second game we both blundered a mate in three. First of all, this 87% is total nonsense, everything depends on the time allotted to the engine for analyzing a given position." Secondly, Topalov's percentages in San Luis, for example, were even higher. In an interview with the Spanish daily ABC published on 14 December 2006, Topalov alleged that Kramnik had cheated with computer help during the match, that network cables had been found in the bathroom ceiling, that threats were issued, and that he felt physically unsafe during the match. Aftermath. Kramnik, as the winner of the match, earned the FIDE World Champion slot in the World Chess Championship 2007, an eight-player, double-round robin tournament. The loser of the match, Topalov, was eliminated from the 2007 World Championship cycle. Despite this, Topalov's manager was quoted after the match as saying, FIDE regulations allow every world champion that has lost the title to challenge the title holder. The total prize fund is $1.5 million. We will find this money and will request the game to take place in Sofia. We will offer an exact date, 3 March 2007. 
When FIED announced plans for the 2007–2009 World Championship cycle, it was confirmed that Topalov was excluded from the 2007 tournament, but he along with Kramnik, was given special privileges for the 2008 and 2009 cycle. The allegations of cheating seriously damaged relations between Kramnik and Topalov. Nine years after the match, in 2015, Kramnik stated in an interview that he does not respect Topalov as a person and will not shake hands with him. As of 2017, Kramnik and Topalov still refuse to shake hands in their encounters. Their rival scores after 2006 are tied in classical chess plus three, minus three, equals three as of April 2017, and despite their rivalry, their games are still in very high quality. Notable games include Topalov's Brilliant Sacrifice 12. NXF7 in Chorus 2008. Topic Notes Topic External Links The Games on ChessGames.com Chess Pro Ru live coverage in Russian and English